Throughout this pandemic, companies that provided disinfecting services have been very busy working to clean commercial properties and private residences. Sean Stryker spoke with one that only started a few months ago, but says they are working hard to help stop the spread. Look, we all work hard to keep our homes and businesses clean, but sometimes you may want or even need a more powerful way to disinfect. It's been a busy few weeks for Marcellus Mosby. It gains traction and it gains momentum every single week. The owner getting of the Baltimore-based commercial and residential disinfecting more. service, Disinfected, only started his business in February. I had been doing a lot of research into the COVID-19, into everything else that was going on around the world. I saw that it was going to come to the states and I wanted to be proactive. Using a technology known as ULV cold fogging, a disinfecting liquid is atomized into very fine particles, allowing it to penetrate deep into services and materials and kill bacteria and viruses like COVID-19. So everything that we use is safe for food contact, safe for pets, plants, and uh, small children as well. Good news for restaurants like Ekiben in Hamden, who added the service to their already thorough cleaning regimen as an extra layer of precaution. You know, we know how to keep a kitchen clean, but going the extra mile doesn't hurt, especially at a time like this. Uh, just making sure everything is like, you know, top notch, that helps. On top of restaurants, churches, daycares, gyms, and private homes all can use disinfecting services. Marcellus says they'll even go into homes of those who have been diagnosed with coronavirus to help stop the spread. So many different ways that this virus travels and uh, being able to come in and stop it uh, before it has the ability to spread to one person and then multiple people is uh, ultimately the goal. So how much does all of this cost? Well, it really varies depending on the company. As for disinfect it, it starts at $200 for the first 1,000 square feet. They also donate their services to a select number of nonprofits. Sean Stryker for WJZ.